today I'm going to be showing you how to cook Yota Skillet's Ultimate Cheeseburger Mac. All you need is olive oil and ground beef and the dry uh, mac and cheese in the packaging and the cheese. Okay, now let's get it. You grab olive oil, pour in the pan. Mix it together. With um, the olive oil, turn the fire on before putting the beef in. Now put the beef in. And now chop it up into pieces until it's fully mashed. Now that there are chopped pieces, gonna put some seasoning on it. It can be it can be garlic powder. And roasted garlic. Put them on again. Add this one. Don't like any of those seasons, you can choose whatever you want. Just make it good. You have to drain it out. Drain the grease. Drain drain the grease out in uh, here. Make sure it's all the way out. Make, but make sure the pot is closed, but one is like open like that. Cause you don't wanna get the meat out. mac and cheese and pour it in. Then if you got two boxes, get that other one, do the same thing. You, say you can let others help. You can let others help. Get the cheese sauce powder. Shake it, Shake it down. And then tear it up. And then pour it in. Mm. Pour it everywhere. Until it's covered enough. Water. Then get in dishwasher. Get that measuring cup. Place it down. Two. And it's two cups of water. Pour two cups of water for each box. Then pour it in the pot. Make sure to not spill. Pour it again. The separate cup. Second cup. Then pour it in again. Turn on the heat. And stir it up till it boils. Yeah. boils. Yeah. Um, when it while it's boiling, uh, keep stirring 
until all the boil has come down. All the liquid and water has come down. It has gone down. It has almost been. Almost gone. The water is all gone, and now we're gonna turn off the fire. Lastly is the cheese. Get, if you get some kitchen scissors to open it. Now pour the first one in. Is that your mother? Your sister? Squeeze it all out. Squeeze it all out. Oh, say no more. It's your girlfriend. Oh, she's a cutie. And then do the other one. Do the same thing. Then after you're done, stir the cheese all over and make sure mac and cheese has um, all of the cheese on it. When you're done stirring the cheese, it should look like this. And when you're done, you can get your plate, put it in, and have yummy time. Bye.